A developing story since it first broke. It's making big headlines. The boyfriend of missing cadet uh, Kelly Rothwell is now behind bars in upstate New York. Yeah, David Perry is his name. He's arrested overnight and on unrelated charges. He's accused of faking an injury while he was working as a prison guard to get workers' compensation benefits. 10 News reporter Melanie Michael has been following the story for us since the very beginning. Mel, what have you learned so far? Good afternoon, guys. Well, of course, as you mentioned, this is big news. According to investigators, David Perry left for New York right after. After his girlfriend Kelly Rothwell went missing back on March 12th and since then he's refused to cooperate with local detectives and coming up with any sort of a timeline for Kelly's disappearance. He won't give any DNA. He won't answer any questions. Her family has been wanting him to be taken into custody so he would answer some questions and now we see he is behind bars as you said on unrelated charges. Now it's unlikely that Perry will be released at this time. He is charged with three felony counts and he's being held without bail. This morning I was told by New York State troopers his attorney can make a request to a judge that a bond be set. Now, when I asked them whether or not they believe the judge will set bail, the answer was each judge in New York is different. And remember, for New York, this case has no bearing on Kelly's disappearance here locally. They are simply treating this as insurance fraud. And we must remind you, Perry is not considered a suspect or a person of interest in Kelly's disappearance. As of now, she is simply considered a missing person, although she was on her way to break up with him when she disappeared. What happens next is I'm sure his legal representation will uh, apply to the court to somehow get bail. And, um, and whether that happens or not, it's, uh, it's going to be up to the judge. And um, we will proceed with the case that we have against him uh, in reference to the fraudulent claims of going out on a worker's disability retirement here in Elmira. Can you tell us whether or not these charges will precipitate any other charges that might be possibly pending in Florida having to do with Kelly Rothwell's disappearance? You know, I, I think it'd be premature to even talk about uh, charges uh, stemming from Tampa. Again, New York troopers tell us that the Pinellas investigators will have to look into get into that. Now, again, this case in New York does not have any bearing on Kelly's disappearance here in Pinellas County. They are completely separate. And David Perry, not a suspect in her disappearance. Detectives simply want to talk with him about the timeline when she disappeared back on March 12th. And again, he hasn't given them any information. And he has indicated, guys, he will not give any information. And now that he's in custody, I'm pretty certain he's not going to talk. A national search group called Q Center for Missing Persons has arrived here in Florida to look for Kelly. They plan to stay here for about a week, bringing in teams and dogs to scour every inch of land, hoping to just help investigators in any way possible. Meanwhile, law enforcement is also continuing their investigation, gathering leads and hoping to find her. Certainly, this is big news, though, for Kelly's family. They've been sounding off all day and all night on Facebook since this broke overnight. And of course, I'll continue following developments throughout the day, and I'll see you again at 5 and 6. Certainly, a big day in the case of Kelly Rothwell and David Perry. Indeed it is. We spoke with our family members earlier this morning, Mel, and uh, they were very relieved to hear that he's behind bars and just hope that police can at least link him to her case. All right. Thanks very much. We'll look forward more, your, more on your report a little bit later today.